Chudley Cannons, Chudley Cannons, boom, 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 we are not pirates. And we are in the playoffs. Yeah, well, not, not yet. yet. We have one episode. game until the playoffs. We'll be ben. in the playoffs. This episode. We're not going to lose yeah, that, we're more not, than seven games between now and then. <laughs> right, yeah. That would we be are, problematic. This is, yeah. this is a game where you just want to rest your wheels. You know, you want to <laughs> let your let your axles yep. recover a little bit. Right, right, Because right. chances are we're playing the Rovers next. Oh, then, um, Or the Dragons. And then the or giant, even the Rebels. Or actually, no, it could we be could... any of those top four teams. It, I don't well, know how they're going to rank. I, th I feel like we play well against the Rebels and not well against the Mammoths. I know we don't play well against the Mammoths. Or the Rebels. I think we'll play against the Rebels. Oh, there's a shark. Ooh. <laughs> I think there was a shark. <laughs> is this our home stadium? I'm really scared. What? This is our home stadium? This was our home stadium before we were bought out by Evil Sky Corp. No. No, no, this that was Gage. Oh, oh, maybe they do both have water Dallas Fort teams, Houston. Yeah, Dallas Fort Houston was the was the Skywater. Oh. This is the Chudley Cannons because we're underwater because the boat does not float. The boat does not float. Oh, oh there it is. Boom. Nice. Game in. Game in. Let's go. Let's score real Speaking quick. Speaking of the boat not floating, on our oh. lovely posters that we have available for the Chudley Cannons on supercrossbrothers.store. Uh, great. People call have out. been criticizing <gasps> that the boat looks like it's floating. Well, I, yeah, let me just let me assure you that that is simply a puddle of water in the background. It's just not very deep water. It's a really vast puddle. I really wish we had put a depth marker in it. No. <laughs> yeah, like, that so that people been, knew that it was like... People knew. Mm. Oh, is oh, it no. not just levitating via Wingardium Leviosa? Oh no, it's, it's sitting on... on that, that would still be floating, Jordan. Uh, mm. Just yeah. a different kind of floating. <laughs> a different kind of floating, <laughs> kind of floating yeah. but floating nonetheless. This, <laughs> is, awesome. this, best, this boat is resting. You have no idea how long it took to get that photo shoot. They were like, okay, fill the water. We, we want it to look like it's in water, but it's not. It's just a big puddle. So Got there it. you go. Right, right, right. And right. now you all know the secret because you turned into the uh, the Chudley Cannons episode. Yes. Yeah. Oh gosh, Jordan. I think we need a question. We've gone yes. really <laughs> off the rails. Here. <laughs> so uh, the first question is actually going to be two very related questions. Uh, the first one from Maddie, who oh, says, oh. "My <laughs> husband and I are starting the process of purchasing our first house. Any tips or advice?" <gasps> oh, and no! the second one is from Clark who says, I'm planning on moving across the country within the next six months. I've been saving to put a down payment on a house and buying for the first time. I've had several people tell me instead of buying right away, I should rent for a year or so. Um, it's just me moving, no spouse, no kids. Should I buy first, rent first, and what advice do you have for buying? Oh man, that's like, that's such a multi-fold question. Yeah, I'm gonna tell you, is there an opportunity to live near a laser venture? <laughs> you know, that's my advice right here. Can you live, is there a laser tag area in the area you're moving to? Because, uh, because who doesn't want as much laser good. tag as you Look, could possibly the get? The property value on that house is only going sky high. I would also check to see what kind of prizes they have in the arcade. That's true, because, that's like, true. You know, <laughs> It, you can't just have any old laser tag. You, right, need, right, like, right. you need to make sure that they have the tubes with the pixie dust. Oh you know, yeah, you know? want big ones, not like regular pixie sticks either. Right, right. But, but like you can go through and multicolor fill your tube as much that's as you right. want. That's right. Yeah, that's a good laser tag. You don't want like uh, you know like uh, frog hopper plastic mass produced in China toys. And that's if you not look, good. if you look, all the good realtor websites these days, they're, they're going to include this kind of yeah, information. Right, it's right next right. to, like, nearby schools. Mm -hmm. Nearby it's schools. It's like the, the local Quality laser venture laser has as many as three mm -hmm. national caliber uh, competitors that regularly play there. Right. Yeah. Just in the event, you know, that you're, that you're really looking to uh, take it as seriously as we are. <laughs> <laughs> that is Woo! a... That is amazing. Yeah, sadly, there's not a great oh, laser tag on. area in Roanoke. Although, Ben, I think Alice, you can like rent laser tag. Oh yeah. my gosh, right? yeah, no, you totally can. Okay, so if, in, in terms of buy or rent, if you can't buy a house near a laser tag, make sure you have property that you could at least rent laser tag right, and deliver play a good game on. Anywhere like, you want wooded areas for that. Right, right, right. Like anywhere yeah. UPS delivers to is mm -hmm. priority number one. There you go. But then also having enough land to be able to go in the woods and play at night. Uh, Jordan, you were there when we I was. played. Yeah. It that was, was I mean, so much fun. It's an intense way to get down, you know? Like, <laughs> you and by, and by I that, wasn't there. By, I didn't get down. But. By that, I mean, like, literally slip and fall, but don't <laughs> care because you're playing laser tag in the woods. Yeah. Yeah. Didn't it? Oh, one of the matches, owe. it came down to you and me being the last ones left it on totally opposite did. teams. Oh, I, I think it did, and I'm pretty sure. Did I win? Yeah, you won. Okay. Okay. But I. But, 
I thought I was going to win because you had no idea where I was in those woods for a little bit. Oh man. Well, see, that's part of the glory of the woods. Mm -hmm. <laughs> part of the glory of the woods. Obviously, Ben's girlfriend uh, really took these things into consideration, mm -hmm. and now they have a lovely home life. Right, no, exactly. Yeah. Perfect. Circling a little bit back, though, so yeah. making Pro big decisions. Probably red first. Right. <laughs> <laughs> what was the question? Yeah, what, was the, what are you guys talking about? I feel like you guys acting like we didn't answer this oh, come question on. completely, and I, I, I don't know. With as much accuracy yeah. as humanly possible. Well, so um, when, when you're making big decisions like this, whether it's buying a house or picking a school that you want to go to or even making a really big purchase like a new car or something. What is your generalized approach for? Oh man, um, I think probably the actual most real advice possible is making sure that you know exactly what you actually can't afford. Because I can tell you that when I graduated from college, I just did not even have the slightest clue what like a typical amount <laughs> to, to pay for a house was. I think what I literally oh. did was I was taking like $200,000 and dividing it by 360, which is how many months you typically finance a home for. And I was like, oh. hey, that number is <laughs> oh, smaller. Even that. <laughs> that number is smaller than what I'm paying in rent right now. I could totally buy a $200,000 house. I went to get pre-approved for my first house. Uh, so like thinking that that was like maybe even like on the lower end of what oh, I was man. going to spend. And I got pre-approved for $71,000. Oh, <laughs> man. It Dude. was great. Um, $71,000 doesn't buy you that's any a, woods not and definitely house. not near a laser venture. Yeah, no, no, no. Definitely those those are those are property value. Those are know. like $72,000 houses. Right. Yeah. Sure, for yeah. Sure. At um, least. So, um, but no, I think that it is probably right up there with like one of the most disappointed like I've ever been in my life was just finding oh, out that I, I had been so incredibly wrong um, about what I thought that I was capable of. Sure. Um, and before you even go and like, you know, talk to a realtor about any of these things, like it is so helpful to know where to direct them. You don't want to waste anybody's oh, time. Yeah. Holy. That's man. what happens when you talk laser venture. When you venture, talk man. laser venture, you just, the time flies, the goals flow. Look at that. You, you, you make the playoffs. You made the playoffs. You made the playoffs. Congratulations. Now, guys, I don't want, like, maybe I shouldn't, you know what, never mind. Okay, okay. <laughs> you know what, don't even bring never it mind. Before we begin our first playoff match against goodness, who's it gonna be? The Dragons. They knocked the, oh, we knocked the Rebels out. That's what happened. Oh, like, oh when they man. Were in there, what happened to the Rebels? Oh, we defeated them. That's amazing, okay, yeah. okay. All right, well, we just played the Dragons, did we not? And we, uh, we soundly, we totally well, won. I say soundly defeated them. It was five towards a good game. Um, <laughs> <laughs> well, let's be, let's be fair. Let's it was, be fair. Was, yeah. Ender Wiggins puts up a good three. Um, but uh, I think it is time for our uh, Patreon sponsor of the day. Today's sponsor is brought to you by Clark, who says, Ben, I'm still waiting for the Ben Crocker cookbook. <laughs> what is the Ben Crocker cookbook? You know, I feel like the only cookbook that we've ever really discussed at length was Browned Grief. Browned Grief. A cookbook for those dealing with de depression. Yeah, yeah, all you gotta do, you buy the cookbook and then you cook through the book and throughout the process, you like, heal your depression because one it's like comfort foods but two some of the instructions in said book would be things like if you're making cookies which obviously you are that's like every other page right yeah <laughs> in brown <laughs> green. you're gonna make a lot of cookies <laughs> good news a lot of cookie recipes but like the instructions might be cup of sugar from your neighbor or something like like um you know or maybe you have to like video chat your mom to approve the amount of butter you're putting in you know like oh, whatever smart, it is smart, smart, stuff smart, like, yeah, yeah you know yeah, yeah. The, whatever it is the cookbook would force you to interact with people as part of the cooking process exactly mm -hmm. exactly mm -hmm. so like each of the ingredients isn't necessarily the ingredients it's how you go about the ingredient right. and how it hopefully mm -hmm. will help you like even like going to the farmer's market for your vegetables right. it's like you're out you're there. You're there. Anyone who wants to talk about their vegetables? Everyone at a farmer's market. People at <laughs> farmer's markets, they're just like, they need to tell you the story about how they nurtured have that tomato. Met, have you met the bread guy at our farmer's market? The bread, I've heard all about the bread guy from Dude. more than one person. Really? Dude, he is like the best bread guy. The, everybody no needs a good bread guy. Well, look, I mean, you go in, sometimes he's there, sometimes he's not. I think it's artisanal seeds, obvious bread name. And you'll like ask him like, now what is this? And before you know it, he's told you about every single thing about bread on the table and like the history of where that type of pastry came from. And like, I'm like, man, okay, 
yeah, I just wanted to know about this thing about the rosemary. But <laughs> it's cool. I can feel my depression waning already. Right? <laughs> yeah. And then you come home and you've had a you have a great piece of bread. <laughs> A great piece, piece of, of bread, bread, which you could turn into dry toast. No, <laughs> oh, no. That yeah. was a joke from our bonus episode last Saturday. Everyone who was there gets it. Oh, man. We're all laughing. Anyway, on with the show. The Dragons! So, playoffs, right? Oh, yes. man. This is not finals. This is playoffs. This is playoffs. This one, is the playoffs. One criticism I have of this game is when you make the playoffs, it's like, congratulations, you, you made must, the playoffs. Yeah. This is yeah. like... Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And you have to arbitrarily set how long it is before you get that message. So mm -hmm. we we have brought it upon oneself. Boink! Into the corner. That's a center ball. That's a center ball. So Maybe. to to recap on the buying a house thing before we move on to our second question, mm -hmm. what it sounded like you were all suggesting was very much doing doing your homework in advance, whether it's figuring right. out where the nearest laser tag facility oh, oh. is. Oh, Ben with the gold! You guys gotta watch this one. That's it's pretty good, it's pretty good. Let's see or it. Or figuring out how much loan you are pre-approved for. That wasn't great. Oh, oh my God, it got even better, it got even better. Fool. How embarrassing. Oh, um, oh goodness. Yes, Jordan, I think what you were rounding off there was figuring out what your buying power is, which is absolutely important. Mm -hmm. uh, always yeah. keep that in mind. Yeah, figure um, that out beforehand. Because yeah. it could be it could be more than you think, mm -hmm. but it's uh, it's especially good to know if it's less than you think. Right. Yeah. <laughs> it can it can honestly just be such a no. reality check no. about like Norms. about everything. Because if you're going into a property and being like stingy about how it doesn't have granite countertops or stainless steel appliances, and then you find out you can't afford it anyway, it's like, ooh. Oh, yeah. Well, and it's a long term ooh. investment too. So it's things that you could change later in life because granite countertops today maybe you know if if you have to get something without exactly the high-end finishes that you want but you can add them later when you are more able to financially then that's Ooh. totally fine too plus then you get to think about the fact that you did it you oh. know like you'd remember what it was like before and after it's such a good feeling get it get it, get get it. it. oh no, no. Oh. Oh. Without any help. <laughs> <laughs> nope, no help at all. Oh, look at this. Nothing but that. Mm. Definitely. Hashtag no help calculated. From the hound. No help from him. <laughs> oh, beautiful. Oh, man. Oh, man. Oh, man. Okay, do we have another question? Did you say that? I do. Oh, man. Um, Let's so hear it. Somewhat related to, to big decision place. making. Uh, this is from Jock Young. Um, and Jock says, Have you ever. Jock? Jock. J O C K, not Jock. Like, not Jock. Like not French. Jock. Yes. Not French. Well, not French. No. Okay. Um, have you ever gotten cold feet about something you love simply because of the logistics? I'm nine because months of away the from. Yep. Okay. I'm nine months away from graduating law school, but no longer believe that being a lawyer is for me. Thanks for reading and for any advice. Huh. Uh, I've never had a logistical cold feet, although I would understand. Like that. That seems like a way more reasonable reason to not want to get married than because you don't like the person. Right, like, oh my God, planning this wedding is the worst. I just I can't. I, I it's not that I don't want to marry you. I, I so just don't do. want to have I just a wedding. Can't, I just oh, can't yeah. do this planning anymore, babe. I just no. Um. <laughs> Allie being in the wedding industry, that actually seems like a good thing. It's like, <laughs> oh my gosh, way too much involved. Mm -hmm. But just yeah. cold feet in general. <laughs> Cold feet in general. Right, so that's that's really the big question here. It's like, why why do people ultimately end up getting cold feet? Is it because they've come to the conclusion that maybe they've committed to something and then realized they don't want it? Or is that they're afraid of like the outcome? I think they're, it's normally like you're afraid, like, boy, uh, of um, not even the out, I don't even know. I, I feel like t cold feet, mm, uh, Very articulate. I know, <laughs> I know, I am totally getting my, point across <laughs> eloquently uh, like I, I feel like whenever you hear cold feet the thing you think about is weddings because it's such like a trope for like guys to oh. be like afraid of getting married which oh. uh, in my experience has not been the case of a single person I've ever known I've right never like, met right. I, it's like is it just a movie thing I like, could, yeah TV like shows? like I've only known people in real life to be like so excited on their wedding Whoa! day. This oh. is so true. This is so true. On your wedding day, I must have asked you like 50 times. I was like, are you getting nervous yet? Are you doing okay? And you were like, dude, I'm so excited. It's my yeah. wedding day. Yeah, Aww. right. Like, exactly. I think I kept thinking like, but everybody's always nervous. Okay? I know. I'm under the understanding such, you're uh, supposed to be nervous. This is, this is a new pet peeve of mine is that like, like when, when like uh, guys or anyone are portrayed as being like so exceptionally like commitment phobes or whatever. On, oh sure, sure. Like on TV, because it's just such a it's such a dumb stereotype. 
Um, and I don't find it to be accurate, but that, like that's how you think it's supposed to be. It's yeah. like, it's, oh, look at that <gasps> shot. Hashtag calculated. Oh. Um, <laughs> totally did it on purpose. There's oh, my hat mate. trick. Yeah, boom, boom. That was a great shot. Yeah, I remember I went to one of my friends. One of like the first like my friends getting married out of college. I went to their wedding. And I ran into the groom and I was like, oh, oh, you nervous? Because I really didn't know him that well at the time. And he was like, not at all, man. I'm so excited. And it was just like the best answer I'd ever heard ever. And I was like, oh man, this is like awesome. This is yeah, okay, I get it. That's what I want. Like it, it so caught me off guard because like of course, oh, what if you only you know the only weddings you ever see as a kid are like what you're gonna see like on TV and stuff for the most part and. They're poorly uh, represented. Yeah, is yeah. my opinion. Absolutely. Which has nothing to do with answering this guy's question. No, well, oh, I think it kind of goes back to our original. It's like, all right, so hypothetically, <laughs> in the event, though, that you have the cold feet, yeah. do, you, do you think it's more likely, like, can you trust all of the decisions that you've made up until this moment and sort of take that as an indicator that, yes, you do want to become a lawyer because you've made so many decisions that say so? Um, probably. I think you can, yeah. I think... I think what this really is, is fear of failure after the fact. Like, I think what this person might be suffering from, I don't know, maybe if they've just gone through law school and it was just like, no, like if it turns out like being a lawyer is nothing like they've imagined it because they only ever saw it on TV and it's like weddings and guys being <laughs> <laughs> um, Way to bring it back, Jeff. Yeah, way to bring it back. It is all related. I'm still mad about it. Hashtag calculated, guys. I am all over it. Oh, man. Oh, oh gosh, that's no, a scary no, no, ball. It's not, it's not. We're good. It's, uh, I got it. No, I don't have it. I don't know what I'm talking about. I'm um, just getting hit like crazy. Um, then, then maybe that's a different situation, but it's Yay! also, I would say, very <laughs> unlikely that you have a full understanding of what it's like to be in whatever profession it happens to be if you haven't gotten there yet. Mm -hmm. um, right, right. <clears throat> like, and, and that's still something where it's like, uh, even if you follow through with it and discover after a couple of years of being a, a proper lawyer that it's like, man, this is not what I want to do. It's like, at this point, you're already like pot committed, like obviously finish, obviously like give it a go. But if you are somebody who like, has passed the bar exam and you're a lawyer, <clears throat> You're going to be a hireable person in other capacities uh -huh. as well. Mm -hmm. yeah, yeah, like you're clearly someone who can follow goal. through with your you know, with your goals. With your goals. Yeah. Just like Ben following through on this goal right here. Yeah. Look at this. Yeah. Buh, buh, buh. Now, oh, less recommended would be if you have cold feet and then get married to try it out for a couple years and see if you like it. <laughs> yeah, that way, you don't want to yeah. do it. I would say same situation. Less recommended. Like less here's the thing. This is this is another situation of you shouldn't get engaged until you already know you want it. Oh yeah. You know, like, cold feet shouldn't be a thing because okay. it shouldn't really be up for debate. <laughs> way, it shouldn't have been up for debate for the last, like, six months. Watch me with this in, like, spectacular fashion. So, I'm like, I love that that, that is, like, it just is the high and slow, and it gave it to Jay because nobody else... It gave it to me? It. Yeah. Yeah. I got that goal? Yeah. Yep. yeah. Oh, man, I'm so good, guys. I'm so ca calculated. So hashtag calculated today. Oh, man. Let me tell you, I knew you'd both the old whipping score. Like One the, of you guys like might actually get a thousand points. Yeah, in I feel like the dragons game. are. Uh, <laughs> yeah, they cold, were cold feet here. Wiggins, yeah, <laughs> they, they got cold, cold feet. feet. Oh, I whether think or not they're the case of the yips, I think uh, what they got here. Right, right, right. Yeah. The yips. Yeah. That is a thing. That's I, a real thing. Yeah. yeah. What? The, the yips, yips. The yips would be like where you can be super confident about something, and then something gets in your head, and you just can't. Oh, I've never heard that called the yips. No, man. How I met your mother. I think it's. I think how I met your mother borrows it though. It's already like a established. Thing. Okay. Well, the How Much Your Mother is the most common example that I know of it, but uh, I think it happens a lot of times like pro athletes where they've like mm. completely been crushing it for so long and then they get really nervous like, oh my god, like, what if I can't keep doing yeah, it? Yeah, like before the big game. Yeah. Uh, oh, oh, wow. Everyone been. was there. Yeah. <laughs> this ball was going in. We were like flying V into the, the yeah. bowler. Ah, the old flying V. Go, guys! <laughs> <laughs> Literally the flying V. That's oh, like we had like the slow motion clap. Yeah, it really was. <laughs> oh, man. So here's a question. Belmont With High the, the cold feet for law school or for anything else, is it necessarily a bad thing? Does it mean that something is wrong? No, I, I feel like this is probably someone who just um, maybe lives inside, well, not just someone in particular, but like anybody with cold feet, it may just be the case that you live inside your head a little bit. Yeah, it's um, understandable to be nervous before like a big change. Like even like, I remember like, there there was certainly like a uh, an amount of like, 
after I quit my real job to do YouTube, like a certain amount of like, oh, I don't know if this was the right idea. Like this sounded like a good idea. I don't know if this is the right idea. Right. Sure. I had like retirement and benefits and now yeah. I'm just like saying, you know, like, um, like it's totally natural before a big change. You just think, even, I think, um, not, not, I, I mean, that this is uh, all in support of my Unreal. point. After <laughs> hiring both Derek and Jordan, I remember having like enormous things like, the right decision can we afford to pay somebody oh, yeah. like what if, we, yeah. what if we move somebody here and then we fail like that's such a terrible idea we shouldn't have done that we should, yeah, we should you, shut down you put someone else's yeah. like <laughs> like a little bit of their life it like what feels like in your hands yeah mm -hmm. where it's like it feels like it's in your hand <laughs> it's in your hands <laughs> yeah. yeah i didn't i didn't want to say that and you guys be like all right i could go get another job if i wanted to like i mean I stop taking so much credit for my life i could oh. but only because we have <laughs> they didn't get it they were gonna get Woo. it but they didn't <laughs> we, we could, but points? only because um, you get, you get like we have marketable skills from here. Whoa, oh, look, 1100! Yes! Whoa! Whoa! Oh, I'm man. disappointed that oh, I only got lies. one point. <laughs> that is, uh, that's, a, that's a powerful win. I Jay think, put the guys. team on his back. That well, was pretty I don't even think I did. I don't know. I mean, Ben had just as, almost as many. Like, oh, yeah, that's true. Dang. That's yeah, a, lot of, a lot of goals. Derek, you're welcome. I guess. <laughs> <laughs> None of us have Somebody saves. Somebody just has to sweep up. Yeah, no one had saves because they had one shot the whole game. Three <laughs> shots the whole game. And there, there, there wasn't much saving to be done. I'm pretty sure all three of Vipers were on himself, though, am I right? <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, embarrassing man. to be Vipers. Jeez, I know, right? Hmm. Which means now the question is, who are we against in the finals? <gasps> oh, is it gonna be? It's the, the Rovers! Yes! Yes! This went down in embarrassing fashion in a one nothing loss. It wasn't nearly as exciting as a game as the old uh, thirteen to two game. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Let's just hope we don't get the yips here going oh into that. We got gosh. this. Oh my gosh! All right. So Wednesday. So I guess Wednesday is the championship match. So be sure to subscribe so you don't miss any of the sweet, sweet action, which is oh the new way I'm gonna boy. try to ask everybody to subscribe. The sweet, sweet action. For as long as I remember to do it. <laughs> <laughs> We're gonna need to write a note on the board. Sweet, sweet action. Sweet, sweet action. Get some of that sweet. Otherwise, be sure to like the video if you're still here this long. Like, I'm, I'm convinced that that must be a contributing factor, yeah. right? Yeah, yeah. You, I mean, yeah, I, we scored a lot. There was 15 goals of action in this episode. More than that, 18 goals. Man, we scored yeah. a lot. Also, the first game was 3-0. Yeah, <laughs> we really found our groove. No. We did, we did. Like, I feel like it was draggers. because... Where were we talking about Laser Venture? Which game? Is that the first that game? That was the first game? game. No yeah. way! Yeah. Oh, man. Yeah. I totally thought it was going to spur us on. I guess it did. I did, yeah. You know, once you get in the laser tag mindset, you can do anything, right. even <laughs> graduate law school. So. There you go. Until next time. Bye! Right. And... Charlie Cannons, Charlie Cannons, boom, 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 we are not pirates.